you know, coming from an HGA9, what would it cross as a PSA? Um, so we'll see. Again, this is the Optic Blue Rookie Auto number to 49. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess a seven. What? What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have yet another PSA virtual reveal. So I just had an order pop today and this one took quite a while. So I have been waiting on this one since way back in February, um, and I'm recording this video on Thursday, April 25th. So this one took, I think, like just over two months, so quite a bit longer than some of my more recent ones. I know if you guys saw my last video, I had a value bulk submission that was sent in um, over a month after this one that was already done, and I think it should actually be delivered either today or tomorrow. Um, so this one was sent in over a month prior and is just now done. So I've been waiting on this one for quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my phone up. Let's get this reveal going. I have not seen these cards, so I am anxiously um, awaiting. This is honestly one of my bigger orders too. So you guys might remember uh, back in February, I did do a preview of these cards. I sent in 15 cards. Uh, now the first five cards in this order were actually sent from a customer who um, actually missed my last PSA group submission. Uh, for whatever reason, these were sent in late and I said, hey, I have a personal order going out soon. You can just throw them in there. And that actually did help me get to that minimum um, 20 card order. So you have to send in 20 at the value bulk level. So that actually did help me out being able to send his. Um, so I just wanna give you guys a heads up. The first five actually are not mine. So. Uh, I'll just go ahead and reveal these super fast. If he's watching this, he can go ahead and see this reveal as well. So we're starting off with the PSA 10, and that's actually a thicker card. So Dorian Thompson Robinson on the um, Origins Auto. So nice to get a 10 on a thicker card there. Um, then we have a Rome Adunze. That's going to be a PSA 9 on the Bowman Chrome Yellow. And then we have another PSA 10. That's going to be a Zach Taylor uh 2007 press pass wow psa 10 on that one okay and then we have i think the next two are both going to be jordan travis cards we have a psa 9 on the bowman u best elements auto and then this one is another thicker one i, I believe this was like a jumbo patch auto uh jordan travis and that one did get an eight. So that one's, that's kind of expected on a card like that, eight or nine probably. It's gonna be very hard to get a 10 on that one. Uh, so that does it for uh, the cards that are not mine. Next up, we should have a CJ Stroud. This is just gonna be a prism base. Um, and I did send in a decent amount of football. I'm hoping, you know, depending on how these grade, hoping they, you know, do well and get tens. I'm hoping to be able to include like at least four or five in those National Series fire packs later on this summer. And then I do have a couple bigger cards. Most of these are gonna be lower end cards, but I do have an Anthony Richardson Donruss Green Auto, um, which there are no PSA 10s. The pop report on that card is rough, rough. Like lots of sixes, lots of sevens, lots of eights. I think the, as of, I checked yesterday actually, there's one nine. So we'll see how that one does. And then I did also send in the Bryce Young Prism Pandora, which is numbered to 400. Those are definitely the two biggest cards. Other than that, they're pretty low end. So uh, let's go ahead and hop in. CJ Stroud Prism Base. And our, not starting off on the greatest note here, we got a PSA 9. I was really hoping for a 10 there. Again, anything football, really need a 10 to be able to throw in those fire packs. Uh, next up, I believe the next three are all going to be those Prism Checkerboards. I did pull all of these. We got a Jake Hayner to start off, and that is going to be a 10. There we go. So I believe at the time, these raw were doing like 20 or 30. Hopefully as a 10, it's around that $100 mark. I have, honestly, I have no idea, uh, but that one will probably be going in those uh, fire packs. And then we have a Trey Tucker, another uh, rookie prism checkerboard. And that one did get a nine. Okay, I believe the next one is a Tua. Um, 
So let's see how we do on the Tua. Again, same thing, checkerboard. And that one got a 10, okay. So that one, uh, the Jake Hayner and the Tua are definitely gonna be going in those fire packs. Uh, so, so far we have two nines, two tens. This one is super low end. Uh, I'm also probably gonna do like a lower end mystery pack type thing at the same time that I do the fire packs. Um, so this, something like this will probably go in that. I don't think the value is gonna be there to put it in the fire packs. Um, and that one got a nine anyway, so man. Really, really needed to get that one a 10 to have like any value at all. As a nine, that one might be 20 bucks, maybe. I don't even know. Um, okay, next one up, we have a Kaysen Wallace Green. Again, pretty low end card here. Um, and that one got a nine. So definitely like uh, cards like this and the last one, you, you have to get tens uh, to be able to increase you know any value at all. Um, okay, here it is. Here's the big boy. Nine would be great. Ten would be absolutely incredible. If this one did get a ten, it would be a pop one. Again, as of yesterday, I looked at the pop report. There was one nine. Everything else was like six, seven, eight. So I'm going to guess, I'm going to be optimistic and guess a nine here. I don't, I don't know if it could get a ten. Um, you know, just looking at the back, I don't see any really white at all. So... Uh, let's see. Oh, PSA 8. I did not think that was in 8 condition. Uh, I definitely thought it was in better condition than that. I thought at least a 9. I honestly don't know why that one got an 8. I thought, you know, again, I thought it looked pretty good. Um, didn't see any white on the back. Don't really see any white on the corners on the front either. But man, these are just tough, tough grades. I, look, I actually looked at all of the Donruss color for Anthony Richardson, Donruss color autos, not a single PSA 10 whatsoever. Uh, on the Donruss base auto, there are a few 10s, but color, not a single 10. Uh, so that was kind of rough. Next up, we have the Prism Mosaic Camo DiVincenzo. Would be really, really nice uh, timing here if this one could get a 10. I know that he's playing really well for the Knicks. And oh my gosh, PSA 9, this is not going well. I was really hoping it was gonna go better than this. Not what we wanted there. Uh, all right, back to like lower end. Gunnar Henderson, uh, Bowman, Mega Box Green, numbered in 99. And PSA 9, oh my gosh, this grader. We got another grader that's having a rough day. Uh, all right, next up, CJ Stroud. Prismatic Silver, if this one can get a 10, it can go in those fire packs as well. And PSA 7, what on earth? What did I miss on that? Okay, well, at least it wasn't anything, you know, it's, it's a pretty low end card, so it's, you know, whatever, but still seven is not what we were looking for. All right, we got a Jalen Williams, uh, blue sparkle. I think my prediction on this one was a 10. We have a Paolo Bancaro coming up. I predicted a nine on that one. And okay, we did get a 10 on the Jalen Williams, so that's nice. Uh, good timing there with the Thunder overall one seed. Let's see if the Bancaro can also get a 10. This one was gonna be the red. And okay, PSA now I thought that one was a little bit off center. So that was, that was as expected. Um, and then this is a big one. So the Bryce Young Pandora numbered to 400. Really, really need a 10 here to make this one worth it, or to make the submission worth it. Oh my gosh, I could have, based on how this submission is going, I could have guessed that. I definitely could have guessed that would get a nine. Uh, not what we were looking for. I think as a nine, these are like 80, 90 bucks. As a 10, they're like over 300. Uh, so that one would have been a huge help for this submission, but not what we wanted there at all. Uh, we're going to finish off the, the last two cards of the submission are Dante DiVincenzo cards. Both of these are cards that I cracked out of other slabs. We have the um, Rookie Threads Gold. This one came out of an Arena Club 10. Um, honestly, don't know what to expect here. When I did crack it out, I saw some stuff going on with the surface, but I couldn't tell if it was just like how the card you know naturally is. So honestly, not really too sure what to expect. 10 would be great. And okay, okay, did get a 10. So that's a relief coming out of another slab that was a 10. I'm very happy that that did cross to a PSA 10. 
Now this next one, this one um, is an Optic Blue Auto. I actually cracked this one out of an HGA9 slab. After I cracked it out, I did actually see a pretty decent scratch on the front. Um, so honestly, I would not be surprised if this one would get like a six or seven. Honestly, almost contemplated like not even sending it uh, because I don't think it's gonna grade well at all, but I was curious you know, coming from an HGA 9, what would it cross as a PSA? Um, so we'll see. Again, this is the Optic Blue Rookie Auto number to 49. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess a seven. <laughs> what? Okay, so I know, <laughs> what? I know when I cracked this card out, uh, I, I mentioned that I was going to crack it out of the HGA 9 slab because back when I sent that into HGA, everything across the board was getting 9s. And I was like, you know what, this is probably a 10. And then I cracked it out and I saw like a, maybe it was like, maybe it was just a hair or something. I thought it was, I don't know, man. I think it was like a pretty significant scratch. It was, it is kind of hard to see because it's like right in his chest across the jersey. Um, I'm really curious. I'm definitely going to check that one out when I get that back. I want to see if I can see that scratch still, but I thought like, there's no way this is going to get like a, either a nine or 10. I, that's, I mean, how, based on how this submission went, that is absolutely shocking. I cannot believe that one got a 10, but Hey, I'll, I'll take it. We got two tens on the DiVincenzo, so definitely take that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up i don't know the final count on like nines and tens and i don't know we got a seven on the stroud definitely not as good as i was hoping especially on the two bigger ones um honestly didn't really care much on most of them but the Andy richardson and the bryce young really wanted tens uh, or even you know nine on the anthony richardson but did not go as well as I would have hoped. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What was your favorite card from this submission? I uh, would love to know that as well. I'm going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.